Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. I thought I'd just do a little quick little video today uh, to sort of point out something I discovered back when I got into aluminum. Uh, I was sort of messing around with uh, the indicator. Just, you know, explore, check it out, see what it does, and it tells you how many items go through per minute or how many per second. And I started thinking, well, if it's a counter to count how fast things go, can it be used as a conveyor? And as you can see here, I do have it as a conveyor section. It comes out in this conveyor, it comes out this side, and gets picked up by the arm, as you will see. Goes through, says one a second, and then you wait about 15 seconds later, I'll tell you it's doing about four minutes, which is about what that's producing right now. As you will find out in a second. Anyway, uh, I wanted to do a little bit of testing. I've already, already done this, and uh, I had some inconsistency with me being outside here, away from the machines, and then in the back where all the machines were. And I had noticed there's a lot of lag back here. And it's not surprising. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm waiting for this new update, because apparently there's been a, a nice big round of optimization, and things are running really nice, especially on really large bases, uh, thanks, thanks to Multizona, who is a member of the Discord. Uh, but yeah, I was setting up back here, and uh, the numbers I saw were different than the original numbers I saw up front. But anyways, uh, I don't know how many of you ever had a look at the indicator. Uh, the steel indicator. The steel indicator is an item that tells you how many items are passing through per minute. You place it down, has an arrow. Uh, in this case, let me... there we go. Uh, let's get off the jetpack just so it'll fly off into the air again. Uh, so, arrow just points the direction again. Uh, it goes, goes in this side, goes out that side, and tells you how many items are passing through per minute. Now, as far as I know, it works on fluids too, but that's not what we're going to do here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do some testing. Now, as you can see, I've made a few things. I've made some stainless steel pneumatic pipes and inputs, and same with titanium. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with uh, we'll go with the aluminum conveyor. Well, let's go with the straight to the pipes. Uh, the aluminum conveyor is about the same as the aluminum pneumatic pipe. There is no stainless steel version of it, so I have made stainless steel pneumatic pipe. Well, no stainless steel version of the conveyor, conveyor junctions, yes. That right there. And then I also made the titanium. Now, I was actually surprised about this. Now, uh, when you're in the early game, you're dealing with copper, and copper is slow. Uh, steel's not too bad, but steel, again, can be quite time-consuming. Uh, so let's actually just go straight up with the pneumatic pipes. Alright, uh, let me get a little layout set up here and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. So what I've done is i got a uh, three pneumatic lines set up here. i got one uh, aluminum, one stainless steel, and one titanium. Uh, i got item counters at the end here just so we can see the actual number, but these are the numbers we're going to be paying attention to. Uh, also something I was wondering too is if you can use these on buffer chests, and we can. Uh, buffer chests are really handy because they're a chest but they also have an output and this is where uh, this little workaround is going to come in handy. Anyways, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to check test the aluminum first. Uh, probably shouldn't have put that in there but I did anyways. I do have a stack of dirt on me somewhere. Right there. So that's going through and now it's reading about two a second. And that give us a final number of Roughly 56 a minute, and that's on aluminum. Uh, so I, I've checked it, and the conveyors seem to be doing about the same speed. So we'll go to stainless steel. Uh, as far as I know, the quality of the buffer chests don't actually matter. So as you can see, that's getting a little faster. That's about three, three per second. Two and a half, three per second, giving us a total of... Wait for it. 136 a minute. So I'll go ahead and take that out. And now up to the titanium. Throw that in there. And that's giving us a little bit more, close to a solid. About three to four. It's fluctuating a little bit. Uh, I do realize there's a lot of lag going on right now. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's not even getting yet. <laughs> count per minute because it's changed so much, so about 168. So that that's pretty good. Let's see if we can get in there, thank you. Let's take that out and we'll let that finish. Okay, so what I've done is I've set it up with just the, the indicators themselves. Now I was actually shocked about this. Just the indicators alone. 
are giving us three per second. You see the number going up there. So we're getting 168 items per second in steel without actually having to use air or power to do this. And I was shocked about this. I, I knew about this back when, like I said, when I got into the aluminum there. I never really tried it because I didn't think much of it. And they're actually fair, relatively cheap, as far as I can tell. Oh, yeah. One pipe, one plate, and one piece of glass. Or one glass pane. Uh, and that's basically two plates and glass pane. Glass panes are easy to get. It's just a little bit of dead sand through a smelter. And there you go. Look at that, maxed out 172 per second. So I thought I'd show you this one if you guys are looking for, uh, you know, an, a, a faster form of transport, but you don't have pneumatic pipes. This would get you t close to titanium right here. I'm sorry, I ended that this episode a little too early. Uh, one of the things I was actually mention though about these indicators is I have a feeling that uh, they will call it, create something similar to hopper leg in Minecraft because of the fact that this is constantly updating the number of items that are going through it and doing constant recalculations and actually passing the items that having a significant amount of these could add a significant amount of delay on the system and actually decrease how how fast everything runs so what i'm going to do is string about 100 of them together i actually have about 108 of them here there's nine rows of 13 so this would be a really good test actually 39 uh, trying to think here 117 actually, I think this might be interesting. All right, uh, so let's stack the dirt in there. It's gonna take a few seconds to get to the end here. It's in the second row already. So far, not too much lag. And we're already going through. This is actually pretty good. That's what I like too, you can open up inventories and walk around. That's not too bad. This is actually a very viable solution. It's relatively cheap. Two pieces of steel and a piece of glass. It's definitely worth it. Uh, and then you just use a steel buffer chest, which are, uh, what was it? Two pieces of steel and four pieces of uh, particle board. The particle board is basically sawdust run through a metal press. Oh, wait. Saw particle board, sawdust, metal press. It could be a, even steel press. And the sawdust you just get from cutting wood with the saw. Uh, yeah, saw. Or you can run stuff through the macerator too. You can get bamboo and wood and planks. Uh, stone logs are the best to go for any type of wood because you get the most output for them. So yeah, I thought I'd show you that one for you guys and hope you enjoy it. Anyways, uh, see you in the next one. Later.